Good evening, everybody. Welcome to Storytime with Jason. I'm Jason, and tonight we get to do another ad hoc ad lib. So I will use my... Let me find it. I'll use my little random word generator from randomwordgenerator.com. Get three words, and then uh, we'll make a little story out of them. And as always, if uh, you have three words that you would like to put into a story, feel free to tweet them over to me at uh, storytimewj on Twitter, which is why you should tweet it. All right. First word, and I'm writing these down so I can remember them, shack, like a little house. We have recycle, very important. We shall recycle. Recycle, reduce, reuse. And yes, I still remember a pro recycling jingle from like the 90s. All right, and, ooh, Professor. Ooh, okay, let me think here. Okay. Okay, got it. All right, for anybody who has uh, never seen the, the uh, movie Back to the Future, uh, you probably should, especially the first one's really good. The others are good, too, but um, had some casting issues. But... Uh, uh, yeah, so I, okay, here we go. Got an idea. Need a, a, an individual's name. What can we call him? It'll be Paul. Okay. Um, all right, so once upon a time, there was a young boy named Paul. And Paul was a good boy. Well, he didn't really step out of line. He got in a little bit of trouble here and there, but, you know, nothing bad. And uh, he was walking down the street one day, and he was drinking a can of soda pop. And... He finished the can of soda pop, and he knew he should recycle it, but uh, he wasn't really wasn't really near any recycling cans or anything like that. And uh, but he did wasn't near a dumpster, so he just you no know, walked into the into this parking lot. You no, know, off his his route of travel was walking down the street, and uh, he sees his park his parking lot with a dumpster in it, and he was going to go just throw his can in the dumpster. It wasn't a recycling dumpster; it was a trash dumpster. And as he is about, to, as not as he's about to throw it, but as he throws it, there's this brilliant flash of light right in front of him. And this guy, uh, his hand reaches out and just grabs the can before it goes into the dumpster. And uh, Paul, you know, staggered, staggers back. He's like, oh my gosh, what's going on? And this guy's in this lab coat with really spiky blue hair. And he's got these big thick glasses on. And he's like, uh, Oh my gosh, what are you doing? You got me double was it? That was it. And he holds this contraption over the can. And then he looks up at Paul, who Paul's completely stunned. This guy, you know, takes a tra he takes this can and after his little uh, machine beeps a few times, pulls this like or yellow Ziploc bag out of his pocket and very gently puts the can in there, seals the bag, and returns the uh the bag to his oversized, uh, you know, lab coat pocket. And uh, the kid's like, no, who, who are you? And uh, the man says, my name's Professor Shaq. Professor Shaq. Excuse me. <clears throat> my name's Professor Shaq, and this one can was going to be the can that would tilt the global trash supply into over the edge, and it was going to destroy the world, and all of us would know you need to recycle. Why aren't you recycling? And this guy's like, nah, this ain't, this ain't real. Like, was this guy's yelling at me, this one can is going to be it? And uh, and Professor Shaq said, you never know which is the one thing that's going to cause an ultimate disaster. And the guy, the the, the uh, Professor Shaq starts pacing back and forth, punching buttons on the little pad he has in his hand, and he, uh, he looks at Paul one more time. He's like, remember, recycle! And then, poof, big flash of light and just like that he was gone with the can and uh well paul was probably sharing some of your feelings right now paul was just sitting there stunned out of his mind he replayed it a few times in his head and uh went on about his way but from then on he never recycled he, <laughs> he never threw his cans in the trash he always recycled them and every time he thought that maybe maybe he should just throw that can into the trash he thought of professor shack and that unnatural encounter they had and he never did the end <laughs> good night <laughs>